In celebration of Valentine's Day, Renton Prep students were assigned a Flash Dean project similar to the Catapult project done the year before. Students this year were to create a cannon that rests on wheels and can shoot candy hearts. The cannon had to be able to move forward and backwards and also raise and lower its angle for the most accurate shot. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. Each group, in addition to any materials that members from the group may have decided to bring from home, were given a balloon, a spoon, cups, rubber bands, and straws. Before building, we were given 10 minutes to research about what cannons are, how they work, and their history. The creation of the lighter weight cannons came under the French king, Charles, who ruled from 1483 to his death in 1498. The lighter cannons were allowed easy mobility, something essential in battle. The cannons that were used often were set off by fire, but nowadays we see cannons that are set off by the simple release from the stored air. The following video explains how air is vital in the use of cannons. Next up, we're testing the destructive power of air with our old friend of the show, Milo, whose online antics have earned him over 35 million views. In this clip, he's trying to shoot an arrow through two cars using a cannon powered by air. Did the arrow go through all four doors? Oh, yes, it did. How did Milo manage to punch a hole through two cars using air? All Milo has done is take a long tube and attach it to a pressure canister. He started filling that canister with air. He's gotten his arrow, he slid it all the way down the tube, and then he's released all the pressure at once. Pressure equals force per unit area. And because the surface area of the tube is not that large, when the air expands, all that great force of the air molecules push on the arrow, making it shoot out. So, high-pressured air released through a small space launches the arrow. But how can it pierce four car doors? The arrow is going really fast at about 170 miles per hour, or 280 kilometers per hour. As well as a lot of speed, the arrow is also quite heavy. It's got a mass of a kilogram. That's 2.2 pounds of arrow. Now, this combination of mass and speed means it's got a lot of momentum. But on top of that, it's also got a very pointy end. So when it hits the car, all of that force is focused in on a tiny area, and that incredibly focused force means it can rupture right through the metal and go through the car. After researching, we were given 20 minutes to design and blueprint our cannon. After examining the materials we had, we blueprinted what, what we wanted, our final design. After redesigning a couple of times, we came up with our final design. We then were given 25 minutes to build. Our building process luckily went by smoothly, and we even had enough time to try our cannon out. We tested the distance and accuracy of our cannon outdoors. Our cannon was tested two times for the distance. The first time it went 585 inches, and the second time it went 360 inches. Out of the five times we tested our accuracy, it did not hit the target once, but it came close. Throughout the project, we applied STEAM. As stated before, STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. Science was a major part of our cannon as we used a balloon which had potential energy stored up to propel the candy heart. Technology also had a crucial impact on our cannon. We used technology to research about cannons, to document building our cannon, and to edit the video you are watching right now. Engineering was used while we built our cannon, and art was used when we blueprinted our design. Math was used when we measured the distance our cannon was able to shoot our candy heart. Each member of our group over the time we worked was on task, and each member contributed to the assignment. Even though we were on task, we wish we could have taken into account the amount of the time we had. This was a flash steam project, and was meant to be done fast. Overall, we felt like our final cannon was a success, but if there was anything that we could change or have done better, we wish we would have brought more materials to push our project even further.